But Joshua, the stock market is risky. Hello lads and ladies and welcome back to another Mannered Man video. Today we will be talking about the stock market and why despite perceived risk, you should absolutely, definitely, without a doubt, be investing in it. So here are some common concerns that I've heard about the stock market. But Joshua, what if the market crashes? But Joshua, what if I lose all my money? But Joshua! Yeah, that's about it, actually. The most common ones, anyway. There was one guy who was telling me that he was risking being seen as a nerd if he started to invest. <laughs> what a dork. So, first up, what if the market crashes? Well, folks, I'm going to break some news here. I can almost guarantee that there is no what if. Because it will. On average, the stock market crashes about 40% every eight years. Now, some people try to avoid that by what's called timing the market, but that is a very, very bad idea. So many studies have shown that you cannot time the market. Although we have sometimes a general idea of what the market might do in the future, there is no guarantee. No one knows exactly what the market's going to do at any given point in time. So, if you can't avoid market crashes, then what should you do? Well, it's not exactly a revolutionary idea, but for some reason most people continue to ignore it. Buy and hold. But Joshua! No buts for Joshua today! <laughs> Let me give you an example. In 2008, we had the financial crisis. The market crashed by approximately 37%. That is big. If you had $1 million in the stock market at that point, your money would have been reduced to $630,000. Ouch. The unfortunate result of this was that most people pulled their money out of the stock market, thinking, I just lost $370,000 of my one million that I had invested. No thanks, Mr. Stock Market, I think I'll cut my losses. However, in reality, they hadn't actually lost $370,000 yet. They only solidified that loss when they withdrew their money. So what would have happened if they had instead swallowed their fear and stayed in the market. Well, following the 2008 crash, the market began to recover, as we would expect it to do. Now, if they had left their money in the market from then until now, in 2021, their $630,000 would have grown to $3.4 million. That's over five times the value of their money at the bottom of the crash, and even still over three times greater than the value of their original investment before the crash. Now, look, I'm not saying that this would be an easy thing to do. If I had a million dollars in the stock market, and it dropped by $370,000, I too would be second-guessing myself. But what the data say about this is very clear. You will be much better off and significantly reduce your risk of losing money long-term if you stay the course. So yes, the risk of a stock market crash is all but imminent. However, the risk of losing money due to that crash is almost negligible if you follow the golden rule of investing. Buy and hold. Okay, Joshua, that is all well and good if the stock market crashes and then recovers, but what if I lose all my money in the crash? Well, first off, losing all your money in the crash could only happen two ways. The first is that you invested in a bunch of individual stocks, and then all of those companies crashed and burned, and as such, their stocks were reduced to a value of zero, and then yes, you would lose all your money. However, if you only invested in a few individual stocks, then that is entirely on you, my friend. Long-term success in individual stock picking is an art so refined and mastered by an infinitesimally small amount of people. Buffett did it for a good many years, but even he has trailed the good old S&P 500 index fund over the last decade. So if you, like me, 
are just the average investor, then what you should be doing is buying into low-cost index funds. Leave the individual stock picking to the pros. So the index funds you should be investing in are something like a Total World Index or the S&P 500. Now, these are really well diversified, spread over hundreds of companies, and they're also diversified into different sectors of the market. So if a few of those companies do crash and burn, it's not going to have a very significant impact on the rest of the index. But I did say there was a second way that you could lose all your money. So let's say you invested in the S&P 500 and the index crashed all the way down to zero. Right off the bat, the odds of that ever happening, of all 500 companies going bust at the same time, well, the odds are almost zero. But hypothetically, let's say that it did happen. Well then, mate, America would delve into complete and utter chaos, likely sparking catastrophic damage worldwide, and to spare you the details, you would have much bigger problems than losing all your money in the stock market. So those are two of the most common concerns about investing, and I hope that after watching this video, you can now see that they don't justify not starting to invest. Thanks for watching, folks. If you enjoyed this video and you would like to see more content about making money, saving, investing, and building wealth, do go ahead and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. I upload videos every Monday and Friday, and I hope to see you in the next one.